Now we head to the southern border surge. The president's Homeland Security chief was at the U.S.-Mexico border today, a trip that included no press access, no news conference, continuing a media blackout about what's happen happening inside those facilities on the border. Correspondent Griff Jenkins is down there. He's live tonight in Sunland Park, New Mexico. Good evening, Griff. Good evening, Brad, and the blackout still continues. We are still unable to go on ride-alongs to see inside facilities or interview Border Patrol officials. But last night, we witnessed more than 25 apprehensions, spoke with some of the migrants, and we spoke to Senator Rob Portman, who is with the DH Secretary today. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas visiting the southern border for the first time, a visit on the heels of intense scrutiny over the administration's handling of the crisis. But the message from the administration remains. I can say quite clearly, don't come. Migrants say that message won't make a difference. Do you think more will come under the new administration? It's not going to stop. Ever. Ohio Senator Rob Portman says it's because migrants are hearing a different message. What they're hearing from the new administration is, you know, we're going to stop deportations for 100 days. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to stop the Remain in Mexico program. Portman received a tour of the El Paso sector from the Border Patrol Union. We were able to ride along. We saw quite yeah. a lot of action tonight, actually. Uh, what, what did you take away? Well, Griff, uh, I saw tonight what's happening all over this border, which is there are more and more people coming. Art Del Cueto, vice president of the National Border Patrol Council, hopes Portman will convince Congress for more help. What do you want him to take back to Washington? No, obviously, uh, the, how undermanned uh, the agents are out here. They're putting their lives on the line each and every day, and we need more personnel. Some feel the Biden administration is doing enough. I think that the administration is pulling this thing under control. Others say the situation is far from under control. It's a total disaster. Texas Governor Greg Abbott is calling out the administration for its handling of the crisis in the middle of a pandemic. There is no viable, usable running water at the location in Midland. And then on top of that, more than 10 percent of the migrants at the Midland location have now tested positive for COVID-19. Back at the border, migrants face their own set of risks to travel here. But for many, the risks are worth taking. Look, if you guys lived in, uh, in our country, you guys will know that it's really tough. It's really tough. We did not hear from the secretary publicly after his visit here to see the facility housing children, which hit capacity this week. The number of unaccompanied minors crossing the border here in this sector is up more than 140 percent. Brett? Griff Jenkins along the border in New Mexico. Griff, thank you.